Well, hello, hello, hello. We are with our good friend, Mr. Dead Guy. We've been trying to catch him for quite a while, but you know how that goes. Um, so where are you from, Mr. Dead Guy? Well, folks, I'm, um, how should I address you? Do I just call you Hey You or? Or Monkey? Uh, blah, blah, blah. you can call me, my name's Jason, but you can call me Jay. All right, Jay. Oh, Kai. Kai? Okay. Okay. So where are you from, Mr. Dead Guy? Well, I'm here from creepy old Philadelphia, where in my living room here at the Mount Vernon Cemetery. Ugh. What do you mean, ill? It's a Ugh. charming, charming place. I must say, it's a charming place, and you are quite the dapper cadaver. I was thinking, in terms of meeting the chicks, um, as a dead person, your clothing would be very important. It is very important, but I have to tell you that um, it sadly is very difficult to meet the right kind of girl, because all you meet when you're like me are, um, sadly, necrophiles, and they're really not much fun. Oh no, not even these goth honeys? No, they're not, they're not. Not the, not... Can you imagine being taken home to meet their parents? Uh, I've made a point not to meet any of my girlfriend's parents. Well, sadly, I've not been so lucky as to avoid meeting some of these girls' parents. <laughs> and I get there and the parents get really wigged out. They get very upset because they don't want their daughters going out with a dead man. I really thought in today's society we're past that kind of prejudice. Wait, not even the dead girls? Not even the dead girls. Oh man, that sucks. So, 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 so you generally date living girls, dead girls, or the undead. And right, what's see, the real difference? Besides well, these days I'm just abstaining. It's just, just too much, too much effort, too much heartache. And I, you know, with my schedule, it's really just too difficult nowadays oh, to really make not time because you're avoiding kind of the thing. disease or nothing, huh? No. No. No, 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 no. What's your opinion about the war? Is it good for business or? Not? It's not good for my business. They, they sneak these boys back. You, it's hard to get a bid in on the uh, the funeral uh, because the government doesn't w really want too many people to know how many uh, are coming in. Yeah, how many boys true. are dying over there? So it's it's actually you oh, know, so for, you're an undertaker. for the independent funeral home operator. The war is not helping us. Oh, at all. so you are undertaker. I was wondering about that. I am. What I, did you I have. I still. I'm still in the business. Mm -hmm. I usually don't work directly with the families anymore, just because <laughs> it upsets them. So I have some front people out. You know, scabby or somebody might take care of the actual upfront. Oh, I'm sure I'm that's much work. better. Yeah. So what did you do when you were alive? I was the funeral director. No! I see. So it segued very easily. Oh, yeah, that's very easily. Didn't have to change clothing or nothing? Didn't have to change clothing or anything. and Just, you know, stay doing a little bit of the funeral directing because that's what I need to do to support my artistic endeavors. <laughs> well, folks, this is my little pal, my young ward, Baby Cheese Wit. Say hello. <laughs> Hello, Hello, baby cheese with How are you? I'm fine. Why are you talking like that? Uh, I think it's genetic. I'm not too sure. <laughs> How old are you, baby cheese with Um, I think I'm a 113 and a half. Wow, so you're just a baby. Just a baby, 113 and a half. Isn't that cute? Yeah. So, uh, where are you from, baby cheese with I don't know. You don't know? How do you forget? Where's Mama? Have you seen Mama in a while? Not since about 1913. Oh, what happened? Oh, well, she's dead. Oh, no. Was it the scarlet fever? I don't know. They say it's related to the bird flu, so we'll do another one of those. We might have some company <laughs> soon. Yeah. Yeah, what a cutie. So what do you like to eat baby cheese wits? Um, I don't know. Um... Baby food. Baby food. Oh, what kind of baby food do you like to eat? Well, I guess it depends what kind of baby it's made out of. Oh, I see. Do you like the human babies or like kitties or little doggies? Mm. What the hell are you talking about? Um, uh, what kind of games do you like, baby cheese? What? Oh, I love games. I um, bet. One of my favorites is formaldehyde and seek. Formaldehyde and seek. See, yeah. sounds delicious. You know, the kids smoke that these days. They don't. I know I heard about that. Yes, they dip their cigarettes in formaldehyde and yeah. then smoke them. They call them coffin nails. Yeah, and then they die. And rightfully so. Do you go to school? Um, sometimes. Sometimes? Uh-oh. Yeah, we had a... One day in class we had drawing. In uh, art class I was drawing. Drawing blood, perhaps? No, drawing flies. Oh, what else does a baby do with his time? Do you have like investments? Do you uh... investments? No. What the heck is he talking about? 
talking about? No, you're just a kid. I'm just huh? a kid, you know, I play around, I take naps, I burp. I said, are you a boy or a girl? I'm not too clear. I'm a boy, you look very blue. Well, so, do you have a girlfriend, Baby Cheese Whips? But I thought you liked yucky things like cooties, I would think. Uh, no, when they're stuck to girls. Ew. So you would pick the cooties off the girls, but you wouldn't want to be with the girls. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, come. I'm not ready for that kind of commitment yet. <laughs> you and me both. Let's see. Anything you'd like to say to the Western world and the Eastern world? I think we're big in Japan, that's my understanding, and uh, Germany. What would you like to say to the cute Japanese babes? Um, uh, I remember Pearl Harbor. <laughs> well, thank you, baby cheese with. Don't think nothing of it. Oh, you're the best. I don't care what anybody says. What a cutie. What do you mean what anybody says? No comment. <laughs>